welcome. This is the Modern Geek Podcast. Coming at you live. Please subscribe through YouTube or Twitch. Hope you enjoy the show. Hello everybody, this is the Modern Geek, also known as Vant Mario, and we have another unboxing today. I'm, I'm very, very excited about this guy. But um, from the new set of figures coming to us just recently, um, this week I have Darth Vader. Uh, Darth Vader is one of the newer figures to hit us, and of course, as always, one of our villains from one of the play sets. So pretty cool to be able to play as a villain. Um, it's kind of hard with my glare. Whoops. I love you're getting a reflection on my phone. Um, you guys can kind of see a little bit of a shot of him in the box. Um, Alright, cool. Um, and of course, we have that in-game art Darth Vader, and this is Disney 3.0, so for you folks that have not been around maybe for all of Disney, uh, Disney Infinity, Disney Infinity is a toy-to-life game where you take toys, uh, put them on a base, and you get to play as these characters. And this is actually Yoda, who I will be having some fun with kind of battling Darth Vader, because it's kind of fun. Um, and when you put them on the base, you get to play as that character. Disney Infinity, in general, is a world creation game. Uh, it's all about creating your own games and worlds, primarily. There is some structured gameplay in what we call play sets, which you unlock with a playset piece, and you're able to play kind of a structured adventure with missions. But what's the coolest thing in Disney Infinity is you can take all the content and make your own stuff. And, of course, the fact that you can have Disney, Marvel, now, and our 3.0 version, Star Wars, kind of all mingle and do things together is pretty cool, too. So, mashing all those worlds together. Um... And you can see an in-game art of Darth Vader. And it's Darth Vader on there. Um, if we take a look at the back of the box, again, Darth Vader will only work with the 3.0 version of the game. Um, he will not work with the older versions. And you can kind of see a picture version of my longer story. Put on the base, become Darth Vader. Pretty easy. And then some little bit of dialogue about Darth Vader. And I'll read that. Darth Vader, the Lord of the Sith, terrorize, terrorizes the galaxy with dark side force powers. Um, and then it has sort of the bonus content there, which is Play Now in Toy Box 3.0, bonus, unlockable in all Star Wars play sets. So what's cool about this time around, uh, basically Disney took the feedback of the fans and now every character in the Star Wars franchises is playable in every playset. So you can unlock them by finding, uh, they call them Star Wars Champion Coins within the playsets, they're collectible items, uh, and then you're able to just play across with every character uh, and kind of play around in that structured form of the game. And then of course in the toy box, usable, everyone can play. And you can see there he is exclusively technically a toy box character, that's what that symbol right here means. Um, if he was able to play in a playset or part of a playset, uh, he would have that icon recognizing him as part of the playset, um, which is pretty cool. Now, ooh, I just realized I need to go online and see if the Force FX figures were available. I think they're going to be available. So what's kind of annoying, but cool, is I think he's one of the figures... Or it might be Yoda that's one of the figures that will have um, a light up lightsaber. So this Darth Vader, I believe, is not one of those figures. But they will have figures where specifically the lightsabers do light up. Um, and they're called Force FX figures, um, which will be coming to us later on. It'd be hilarious if I unbox this and it is one. If it is, then I'm going to need to run to a store and buy another one because characters like Darth Vader, I definitely want a boxed version of a special edition figure like that because it's really cool. And then also on the back, I didn't point this out, but this is the roster of Star Wars characters for 3.0. Um, no, yeah, none of the figures on the back are new additions. All of them were confirmed, so no sneaky spoilers. 
um, for extra Star Wars. I'm assuming there will be extra Star Wars characters eventually, but um, yeah, this just this figure looks awesome. I love what they did to this. really really cool awesome well, without further ado let's get this sucker open yeah I should do the test no, no extra bits So of course, with every figure comes a card. The idea behind the cards is that in the iPad and PC version of the game, you can actually redeem these guys in-game. So as you can see from all the figures that we've unboxed, they all have cards associated with them so you can play through all of them, which is pretty cool. And then let's get our now right off the bat I can tell you this figure is freaking awesome so one of the things that I really like about the Darth Vader is of course right at the get-go right at the get-go you have this just differential paint job. Let me see if I can get this to focus on that. Maybe that'll help. I know, for a person doing video, I literally put a giant black object in here for my white balance, which is hilarious. But as you can see, and I'll try to put them closer. Yeah, there we go. Closer, you can see all the different paint passes but what's amazing about this figure is that his helmet, if you couldn't guess, is extremely shiny. So, you know, staying in line with the idea that Darth Vader has this sort of shiny, iconic helmet. But then the lightsaber is also that clear lightsaber piece kind of thing. But then on top of that, there's just all this little awesome, yeah, let me just, whoops, sorry. Um, all of, there we go. All of this like really cool detail you know, on all the buttons and belt of him. So, you know, even though he's an all black character, they did a really nice job with just creating that sense of just a Sith kind of Lord. And again, I love the fact that he just has that purpose. You know, when you see the figure, it's gonna look beautiful when it's out. You know, in general, the Disney Infinity figures, out of all of the figures, to me, they just look beautiful when they're out and displayed. They're very statuesque. Whereas, um, you know, I think Skylanders captures that in some regards, but I think Skylanders is trying to be, you know, they're very cartoony characters. They're very larger than life characters. So they're trying to kind of embody that a little bit more. Um, whereas with Disney Infinity, I just feel like, you know, they, they feel like people are going to collect these and they want them to really represent those characters very well. Um, I would say Amiibos are probably the most detailed out of the Toys to Life um, as well. So again, they look awesome out of the package. They look awesome when they're all together and you have a large grouping of them. Um, they really kind of stand out and they look cool. Um, awesome. Well, with that being said, I think we did an awesome job, but I'm so looking forward to getting this guy in the toy box uh, and starting to play. Um, I know I'm going to be, I'm working on a Tatooine toy box. I'm definitely going to pop him in there, play a little bit, have some fun. Um, we'll have that gameplay up there and explore some of the other things that we're unboxing. All right, well, take care, guys. And again, I would love to hear your comments. What was your Wave 2 um, Disney Infinity look like? Were you able to get the characters you wanted? I know, kind of oddly, my Best Buy kind of had them all hidden, so it was hard to find them. Um, I've been really enjoying the Best Buy Gamers Unlock Club, which, fun fact, works on these guys, works on all of the Toy to Life games uh, and all the pieces to them, which is really awesome. So you can save yourself a lot of money if you go that. Uh, to be honest, pretty good deals. Uh, if you add that to once in a while, Toys R Us kind of throwing you a nice deal, um, you could probably get a lot of this stuff pretty cheap. All right, well, 
that being said, guys, thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, we will be taking a look at the game. Uh, and I've said on some of my other streams, we will be doing some scheduling of different games on different days um, to kind of break it up. Because now that we had Skylanders, Disney Infinity, and LEGO Dimensions all kind of hit us with different sets of stuff, uh, I got to kind of spread it out so we play it all in great time. All right. We'll take care, guys. We'll see you at the next unboxing. Take care.